The following video is sponsored by MobileMaddenCoins.com. If you're looking for Madden coins on any console or platform, be sure to check out MobileMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID for a 10% discount. Hey, what is going on guys? Clickwood here back again with another Madden 17 Ultimate Team video. And guys, today what we're going to be taking a look at are the brand new Team of the Week items that are coming from Week 1. Kind of sucks that there are so many games left still for Monday Night Football. And those guys are obviously not going to be eligible for Team of the Week. But going forward, I guess it's not that big of a deal because we'll only have the one Monday Night game. So it shouldn't be too bad. But I do like that they're putting out uh, the Team of the Week items on Monday afternoon. I think that's pretty damn cool. So uh, these are the guys, though, that you're going to be seeing in the game today. Brand new cards. First one, we've got Deshaun Shedd, and this is a 79 overall Team of the Week card, so pretty low. Not really anything spectacular here attributes-wise. I mean, he is six foot two, so it's nice to see that. Uh, but if you take a look at some of the attributes that he has, really not that great. Uh, he's not terrible, but, uh, I mean, a 79 overall card, it's just not something that we're really going to be excited for, obviously. So, uh, you take a look at some of the attributes, though. 78 man coverage, 82 zone. Eh, it's kind of balanced there, I guess. Press is 79, not really anything great. Um... Uh, the only thing that he really has is that he's six foot two, which is big for a cornerback, obviously. And he has decent speed as well at an 87 with 87 Excel at this point in Madden. That's still pretty good for the most part. Um, but anyway, he's not that spectacular, but he is the lowest overall card in today's set that we're going to see uh, in, the, in today's release cards, I should say. Now, the second card is one that I think people will be a little bit more interested in because it's a running back, and that's Spencer Ware. Now, Spencer Ware actually had a pretty nice game on Sunday. He uh, took over for Jamal Charles, who missed the game, and Ware had uh, really nice attributes or really nice stats, so he is going to get nice attributes here in today's game as well. You're going to see the 89 trucking. That's pretty nice. Out of a five foot ten running back, you wouldn't really expect that. Decent speed, a decent excel, not anything spectacular with 86 speed. Uh, what I'm interested to see with Spencer Ware is the type of uh, catching attributes that he's going to have. We don't see it on the card here as far as what EA put on their blog, but... Um, Again, we're seeing, you know, that this guy probably is going to have decent catching attributes based on the fact that his running attributes really aren't anything spectacular. And he did have a nice game catching the football on Sunday as well, at least stats wise. So, uh, yeah, so I, I do think that we'll get some decent catching attributes here out of Spencer Ware. Now, next on the list, we do actually have Quan Alexander of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, who had a really nice game on Sunday. Now, this is a pretty good card. I think that this is one that you're going to want to look at for usering. 87 speed on this one. Uh, he does also have some nice hit power with an 87. If you don't user him, he's got decent pursuit as well and uh, solid enough awareness. So I think he's going to be able to get after uh, the running backs and things like that in the running game. Maybe even make plays in zone coverage with 74 zone. It's not that bad for a middle linebacker at this point in the game. So uh, again, I actually think this is a pretty interesting one uh, based on the fact that it's only an 82 overall. So it might be one that you want to consider using maybe for your salary cap squads or if you're running a budget team and all gold team things like that this is a card to look at next we have Carson Wentz now this is a guy who uh just made his NFL debut on Sunday pretty damn good and pretty damn impressive performance for him in his NFL debut the Eagles do walk away with the victory over the Browns now this is a card that's interesting because we talked about earlier in the year that the only upgrades that the dynamic cards, the rookies that we got at the end of Madden 16, were going to get for this year were going to be if the players got Team of the Week items or things like that. So it's kind of cool because this card is actually uh, going to be the same one that you get if you have a dynamic card. As far as I understand it, if you made the dynamic card in Madden 16, the attributes on that card should now match the 83 overall Team of the Week that we see here. So that's pretty cool. This is a decent card, though, man. You look at this fact that he's got 81 speed. That's pretty good for a quarterback. Uh, throw accuracy short in 86, mid 85, at, and deep only in 81. Does have 88 throw power. Solid throw on the run, solid play action. So it's a pretty good balanced quarterback card. And like I said, if you have the dynamic card, you already got this one. So that's pretty damn cool as well. It's kind of the first example that we're actually getting of these dynamic cards. So um, nice to see an upgrade there on one of those from the rookies from this year. Next, we have the first elite of the set, and that is Bruce Irvin. Brand new card. Uh, pretty cool looking uh, card art on this one, I think. I, I love the fact that the guys that had the dark visors, I just think, look badass. But uh, 86 speed for Bruce Irvin. 
I mean, we expect Bruce Irvin to be nice and quick, and he is definitely that in this card. Um, overall, not amazing attributes, but still pretty decent. Uh, you take a look at the fact that he has 87 hit power. That's pretty decent. Strength is a little bit disappointing, though, and his block shed being only an 84 isn't spectacular either, but he's typically going to be a guy that's going after the quarterback, so we're going to want to see maybe even what his uh, his power move and his finesse move, things like that, uh, might be. So uh, that'll be an interesting thing to see what happens with that card or with the uh, back of the card on those attributes. But um, other than that, solid card. If you combine him with Quan Alexander, you're actually probably can, you know, putting together a pretty good set of linebackers, but, you know, not anything spectacular at this point. Now, what we're moving on to here is the top card as far as overall of the cards that are coming out today, and that is A.J. Green, 89 overall. A.J. Green just had a monster game, absolutely destroyed Darrell Revis and the Jets, like just humiliated them through the air. I mean, this dude put up probably one of the best performances that I've ever, it is the best performance I've ever seen against Darrell Revis in a game. And I don't know if that had to do with the fact that Revis just was off or is AJ Green just seriously on right now? I don't know. But this card looks pretty damn nice. You talk about six foot four at the wide receiver position. We know how much height matters in Madden. And then you look at the fact that he's still got good speed at an 88. And uh, I mean, obviously, the catching attributes for this card, pretty much 90 or above on everything. So uh, that's always a nice thing to have. He does also have the 91 jumping in addition to that six foot four height. So he's going to be able to go up and get those aggressive catches if you need him to. So a very, very nice card. I think this is probably going to be the most expensive card of the group. But there is also one other card that might surpass it, but it's actually just based on the fact that it's 48 hours limited, and that's Harrison Smith. Now, Harrison Smith is actually an 88 overall, but he is the limited edition 48-hour card. So, again... I don't exactly know what's going to happen with the price of these, but we look at uh, you look at the other safeties that are in the game right now, uh, free safety wise. Larry Wilson is the only one that I would say is for sure better than this, but yeah, and he's pretty much better at everything other than maybe hit power, and then he's also a couple inches shorter. But other than that, Larry Wilson's definitely better than Harrison Smith, and that card's going for about eighty thousand coins. So I don't think that this Harrison Smith is going to go for a ton. It might right away just because it's limited, but you take a look at the attributes, and I just don't think it's worth uh, paying a ton for, so I'm not really sure that this one's going to be the most expensive. I do think, like I said, that the AJ Green is going to probably be the most expensive card out of these ones that are released today, uh, but six foot two, obviously, with Harrison Smith, really solid attributes kind of across the board, 89 zone. The 90 hit power, I think, is the, the big thing that we like about Harrison Smith, combined, the fact, combined with the fact that he's got good coverage attributes, his speed and excel acceleration or solid and you don't really have to worry about him because he does have great play recognition awareness things like that so that is going to do it for these cards guys they are going to be released as far as I understand it either I think it's this afternoon on Monday but it might also it might be Tuesday afternoon I'm not 100% sure on that but we'll have to see exactly what they say here from EA Sports but with that being said guys hope you enjoyed it if you did please do me a favor and drop a like on this video thank you all so much for the support Good luck pulling the Harrison Smith and all these other cards, and I will talk to you guys again soon.